by far the best investment you can make is in yourself. If you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you. If I gave you a car and it'd be the only car you get in the rest of your life, you'd take care of it like you can't believe. Any scratch you'd fix that moment, you'd read the owner's manual, you'd keep a garage and do all these things. And you get exactly one mind and one, and one body in this world. And, and you can't start taking care of it when you're 50. Just remember that you've just got one mind and body to get through life with. And you know, the most important thing is really who you associate with. You want to associate with people that are better than you are. I mean, basically, you'll go in the direction of the people that you associate with. And, and you want to have the right heroes. If you want to emulate somebody, you better pick very carefully who you want to emulate. Obviously, you can't pick your parents. Uh, uh, they're going to have enormous influence on you, but you don't get a choice on that. But you get choices as you go down the line. Who you want to copy, and the most important for most people in terms of that decision is their spouse. It's also important in terms of a partner in business, but the partner in life is, is, is the most important one. You, you want to pick a spouse that's little bit better than you are. Biggest mistakes people make when investing? Well, they just don't realize that, they think that because you can trade, you should trade. They, you buy a farm, you buy an apartment house, you can't resell it tomorrow. Now you get something handed to you, liquidity, you know, which is instant, you can sell, and the, the cost of doing it are pennies, you know, compared to other kinds of investment activity. So because they can so easily move around, they do move around. and. Moving around is not smarter than investing. Is business school worth it? Depends on the person, but, uh, much more than it depends on the school. Some people are gonna get a lot out of advanced education and some people are gonna get very little. And uh, I, I don't even think it's important that every person go to college at all. I mean, we have all kinds of jobs at 70 or so thousand a year, 80,000 a year that college training is, is, is not of use. And, and I, I actually, was not keen on going to college really? myself. Yeah, my dad uh, kind of jollied me into it. He could get me to do anything, but I knew I could have a good time and I, I liked investing and I didn't really feel, I, I, I could read the books. It's, it's a big commitment to take four years and the, the cost involved and maybe the loans involved and everything. I think depending on what your interests are in life, I don't think it's for everybody. I think it's for a lot of people, uh, but there ought to be a reason you're going. And I didn't really see much reason. If you get to be 65 or 70, and the people that you want to have love you actually do love you, you're a success.